Hello, I'm Julia Dimbrada, and I'll be reading The Best Kind of Bear by Greg Gormley, illustrated by David Barrow. Bear was a bear, a very sweet little bear. But he didn't know what kind of bear he was. One day, he met a girl named Nellie. Hello, she said. What kind of bear are you? That's what I'm trying to find out, said Bear. Maybe there's a bear out there who can help me. Will you come back and tell me? asked Nellie. Yes, said Bear, and off he went. First, Bear traveled west. Deep in the forest, he met a big brown bear. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a grizzly bear, said the big brown bear. I love nice long naps. Me too, said Bear. I love napping. Maybe I'm a grizzly bear, said Bear. Grizzly bear stretched and yawned. <sighs> Wake me up in six months, he said. That's too much sleep said Bear. I can't possibly be a grizzly bear. Maybe not, said Grizzly Bear. Besides, grizzly bears don't have those funny little stitches on their tongues. Next, Bear traveled to the frozen north. There, he found an even bigger bear. It was completely white. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a polar bear, said the big white bear. I like to play in the snow. Me too, said Bear. I love playing. The two bears went snow sliding. This is fun, said Bear. Maybe I'm a polar bear. The bear was starting to feel chilly. Shall we go inside and get nice and warm, he asked. I never go inside, said Polar Bear. <clears throat> said Bear. I don't like to be cold. I can't possibly be a Polar Bear. Maybe not, said Polar Bear. Besides, Polar Bears don't have washing labels attached to their bottoms. This time, Bear went south. There, he met a bear with long claws. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a spectacled bear, said the bear with the long claws. I love to climb. Me too, said Bear. I love climbing up the bed. Maybe I'm a spectacled bear. Come up then, said Spectacled Bear from a very tall tree. Okay, said Bear, following carefully. The view is so pretty, said Bear, but then he looked down. I feel a little dizzy, said Bear. Then, ah! he fell off the branch. Biff, boink, bump. Ow, said Bear. I do not like climbing. I can't possibly be a spectacle bear. Maybe not, said Spectacle Bear. Besides, spectacle bears are not as soft and fancy as you. Finally, Bear traveled east to another forest, where he met a black bear. What kind of bear are you? asked Bear. I'm a sun bear, said the black bear. I love honey, honey, honey. Me too, said Bear. I love eating honey. I must be a sun bear. But where do you get your honey? From a beehive, said Sun Bear. Get ready to. Run! The two bears ran over logs and under bushes until, splash, they jumped into a river. They are me, <laughs> spluttered Bear. I don't like bees and I don't like getting wet, so I'm definitely not a sun bear. Maybe not, said Sun Bear. Besides, sun bears never wear bow ties. Bear was fed up. He decided it was time to go home.
Nellie was there waiting for him. What did you find out, she asked. Well, said Bear, I love naps, but not ones that are too long. And I love playing, but only when it's warm. I love climbing into bed, but I do not like climbing trees. Although I love honey, I do not like getting wet, and I definitely do not like bees. But I still don't know what kind of bear I am. I suppose that I'm just an ordinary and uninteresting bear. A wonderful kind of bear who has funny stitches on his tummy and a washing label on his bottom, who is soft and bouncy and has a very nice bow tie, said Nellie. I am? asked Bear. Yes, said Nellie. You're my kind of bear. And you can be my bear if you'd like to. I think I would, said Bear. And so Nellie brought him Bear's label. Nellie's bear. That's what kind of bear I am, said Bear. I'm your bear. And that's the best kind of bear to be, 